For centuries, scientists have dreamed of creating machines capable of generating unlimited free energy. But are such devices really possible? And if so, why do governments seem so opposed to this game-changing idea? Tonight we'll explore these questions through the lens of one remarkable discover, the Faraday Paradox. Good evening everyone, and welcome to our program exploring one of the most fascinating discoveries in the history of science, electromagnetic induction. In the 1830s, British scientist Michael Faraday made an accidental finding that laid the foundations for the electric age as we know it. Yet his work also revealed deeper mysteries that still intrigue scientists today. Over the next hour, we'll delve into Faraday's groundbreaking experiments, the questions they raised, and their implications for our understanding of energy and physics. We'll begin with a look at Faraday's background and early career. Though he had little formal education, his meticulous experimental skills saw him rise to become one of the greatest scientists of the 19th century. Through recreating earlier discoveries like Davy's decomposition of compounds, Faraday established himself as an ingenious practical experimenter. But it was an unexpected event in 1831 that would make him renowned worldwide. One day in August of 1831, Faraday was playing with a simple device involving a bar magnet and a coil of wire. To his surprise, he noticed the wire producing a brief current when the magnet was moved. This chance observation kicked off a new field of study that Faraday dubbed electromagnetic induction. But what invisible force had caused this effect? We detail how Faraday methodically began varying the conditions to better understand the phenomenon. His detailed notes and journal entries showcase his dedication to the scientific method. Through variations like using stronger magnets and more coil wrappings, he confirmed the induced current consistently emerged. This was no fluke, but it raised many questions. Interviews with modern physicists helped place Faraday's discovery in context. While circuits and motors would follow, his biggest mystery was identifying the invisible lines of force he sensed were at play. Where was this inductive force coming from, if not from the magnet itself? And what did it imply about the true nature of energy in the yet undiscovered field of electromagnetism? Building on his discovery, Faraday ingeniously designed various apparatuses to demonstrate different principles of electromagnetic induction. This included the first electric motor, where he used rotating coils and magnets to spin a metal disc. We describe how such innovations laid the basis for modern electromagnetic technology. However, Faraday was troubled. His findings seemed to contradict established theories of force and action at a distance. Where exactly was this induced current coming from? He knew he had uncovered aspects of deep mysteries in the relationship between electricity, magnetism, and motion. Over the next few years, Faraday tirelessly experimented with every variation he could conceive. He discovered the principles of self-inductance, mutual induction, and transformers. But no matter how many observations he published, the question of the induction's true cause remained naggingly unanswered. We examine some of Faraday's private journals, where he expressed frustration over being unable to fully explain the inexplicable phenomena he had identified. He sensed it hinted at profound insights into the underlying laws of physics. In an act of scientific imagination, Faraday proposed the idea of invisible lines of force permeating space and linking magnets to coils. This was the first conception of the magnetic field and paved the way for the fields of electromagnetism and modern physics. But how did these lines induce current for a distance? We discuss how Faraday's discoveries revolutionized science and technology, even though he left major questions unanswered. The concept of the electromagnet brought about myriad applications. 
James Clerk Maxwell built upon this work in his equations unifying electricity, magnetism, and light. Despite his fame, Faraday remained frustrated that he could not specify the true origins and nature of electromagnetic forces. Where did the induced currents and lines of force truly originate? What was producing this wireless transfer of energy? His work hinted at larger forces yet to be recognized. In his later career, Faraday continued probing for answers with great care and tenacity. He explored areas like electromagnetic rotation and diamagnetism. We analyze how even his final tests pointed towards the existence of phenomena that conventional science struggled to explain. Though Faraday lived only to age 75, his experimentation was among the most significant in modern physics. His inductive reasoning style also served as a model for scientific inquiry. However, some of his deepest questions would remain unresolved even after his death. It was the enigma that Faraday himself could never fully solve. If nature seemingly generates usable energy from no external inputs, why can this not be replicated for practical use? Thus did the Faraday paradox come into existence. The mystery of why we have not harnessed this environmental energy demonstrated by his coils. We analyze how even after intense study, Faraday was aware he had merely scratched the surface of a far deeper riddle. His discoveries hinted at vast untapped reserves of energy existing without apparent cause. If only the veiled forces could be better understood. Joining us via video call are two historians of science. They take questions from our live audience on topics like Faraday's mindset, his religion's influence, why his work was largely continued by others, and whether his papers suggest he sensed implications beyond classic electromagnetic theory. Breaking from the interview, we pose a question to viewers watching at home. Based on what they've learned, do they believe Faraday was aware he had uncovered hints of phenomena more profound than even he realized? Their online reactions are shared. We optimistically discuss how Faraday's unsolved conundrums continue driving new lines of research. If answers could be found, what doors may open in technologies, new paradigms, or altered worldviews? Scientific mysteries are humanity's shared inheritance. In closing, we reflect on how one man's patient experimental insight laid the foundations for our electrified modern age. Yet the deepest implications of Faraday's discovery continue provoking new questions. Perhaps by carrying on his example, fresh insights may gradually resolve the paradoxes he uncovered. The quest goes on.